A community shattered by gun violence searches for comfort at a public vigil through song and prayer in this moment of grief. As the healing begins, we will recover. We will not let the actions of one individual impact our resolve. Police guided thousands of shoppers from the outlet mall Saturday afternoon. Emotional survivors reuniting with loved ones outside. We were in the store and I was in the fitting room and then everybody ran into the fitting room. And I ran out to see what was happening. We heard about six shots. You see the guy, there's this guy dressed in all black, wearing a vest, has an assault rifle and he's just shooting at people. As first responders rushed to the scene, so did parents. To see your son come out with his hands over his heads and have to walk past dead bodies. It's not something any parent or anybody should ever have to see. The suspect was killed by an officer at the mall on an unrelated call. Multiple reports say investigators are looking into whether the 33-year-old suspect had ties to far-right white supremacy groups. The familiar public rituals of mourning are well underway. And so is the familiar debate that always follows these events. People need to really wake up. I mean, wake up to what's happening here. It's almost become some normal event for everybody. Advocates for gun law reform are pleading for change, meeting resistance from some lawmakers. I know people want to make this political, but prayers are important and they are powerful in the families who are devastated right now. It's believed the gunman was armed with an AR-15 style rifle, the same kind of weapon that has been repeatedly used in mass shootings in the United States. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.